We here we are sa afternoon break namin and we are uh, debriefing and just uh, talking about kani mga highlights. Okay, Pastor uh, Anthony, anong highlights sa ano mo? I attended the session on marketing the GLS mm -hmm. and I'm starting to explore possibilities, wild ideas regarding how to better position our our seminar, our summit, so that it reaches the the maximum people and the uh, our ta target audience, I think. So, yeah, Amen. it's been very helpful. Amen. So, Boris, what can you uh, share with us? What's, what's really interesting is that there's a lot of best practices happening in different countries uh, as far as Europe, uh, the ones in Latin America, and even Asia. And just hearing all those wonderful success models gives you the inspiration to try out some of them and maybe modify it and contextualize it but I think the possibilities are limitless for us in Manila to make the next GL GLS successful. Amen, amen. All right. So Regina. The, our, our speaker uh, on the maximizing community impact was a you know, bishop from Uganda and uh, I've seen in his testimony that uh, Truly, it is possible to see Second Chronicles 7:14 happen in a nation uh, that is full of idolatry, witchcraft, etc. The, the powers of the enemy are really strong in that uh, place. But with the grace of God, when the when the leaders of the churches start to connect, network, uh, forgive one another, and then the, the power of God really moved and I really affected all institutions starting from the president down the line. All institutions were affected by the gospel because the leaders uh, that, that were equipped by the GLS uh, training was really you know, able to really able to impact their communities, their nation. Wow, well said. Thank you, Professor Regina. Soon to be national. <laughs> As a team leader, how, uh, what are your best learnings in, in the last partners meetings? Last? That's, that's At the last two days, yeah, last two days. <laughs> two days lang naman. Siguro, I think uh, the, uh, the best way to ano, para summarize it is that uh, yung, uh, yung, yung, yung event is just a means yeah, uh, for people to hear from God. And it is really God who is uh, talagang uh, interested in... Uh, uh, influencing us toward this purpose and just okay lang talaga yung uh, ma set up yung, yung environment for that kind of uh, transformation. It is the Lord talaga who, who needs to get through the leader's heart. And uh, everything else, uh, lahat na nangyayari, uh, are just basically tools para i facilitate yun. You know? uh, yung production, yung uh, questions ng facilitator, and all of that, you know are just uh, means to an end. That is basically para yung mga tao can, can hear from the Lord and uh, can have their hearts transformed so that God can use them more sa purposes niya. So I think that's the bottom line na pinakamala niya. Everything else na pinag-uusapan dito are just simply to make us more effective in allowing that to happen. Si Lord talaga yung dapat kumilos sa buhay ng mga tao. I think that's uh, the most important takeaway. Nice!